Hello, people on YouTube. I have something interesting, or I think it is, to show you. I bought this DVPT stick, or software defined radio dongle, some time ago, and I've played a lot with it. Uh, it can sniff frequencies from zero to some gigahertz. And uh, I used it for um, listening into flight information. So, um, when I was done with that, it was just lying there, and I saw that you could actually use it for sniffing information from the lower GSM bands, or also known as uh, IMSI catching. And that is exactly what I have uh, done here in the background. If I close this one down, I just want to show you, you can buy this on, on eBay for like $7, including shipping. Uh, so, in the background here, I have a script running, which is actually just, it's a Python script some guy made, I'll give you the link later, which will extract all the needed information from a network stream done by the GNU Radio Tools GR GSM. So down here at the lower right corner, here, I have started the, the GR GSM. This is actually, this is the console for it. And when you start it up, it's just silent, and when you tune into the right frequency where the GSM tower is living, uh, you can you can time uh, not time tune the frequency here by pressing this one up and down. And when you see the spike like this, you know that you're on the right frequency, and you see the flow out here like this, you know that it, everything is working as it should. And um, running the Python script in the background will then extract the needed information. And as you can see here, I live nearby a GSM tower. Uh, it's three, four kilometers away. You can catch them up to 30 kilometers easily. Uh, and you see a lot of different There will be. I live nearby a train station, and every time the train uh, comes by, I can see people here connecting to the stations. I also live nearby by a refugee camp, so there's a lot of foreigners uh, connecting to the stations. Uh, and uh, just to show you also that you can get the same information out with uh, Wireshark, we can try to start Wireshark. Here we are. And don't um, care about this. It's because you're running Wireshark as root, you should be doing that. Okay. And here we have now a live feed of all the DSM data from the DSM tab flowing. It's not as easy to find the MC numbers here as is it, as it is with the python script so uh, i'll show you how to do this stop and quit yes first of all you have to get hold of ubuntu or a debian based uh, linux i normally use cubes os and i installed this in a debian 9 cube and i also installed it in a cube a debian 8 cube and it worked perfectly. So, but basically you just have to get hold of a Linux. I tried this also on a VM. That's what you're watching right now on Windows actually. And I, I went and I downloaded the 16.04.2 LTS version of Ubuntu. And here's the links. And then uh, I gave it a CPU. Two gigabytes of memory is, is important because when it compiles further down, it needs a lot of memory. And one gigabyte will not do it. It, it will uh, run out of memory. 20 gigabytes of disk is enough. Leave it in 2.0 mode for the USB. And then just um, when you're done with installing, run the app get update and upgrade. So you have a, a clean install which is up to date. Step two is installing GNU Radio. And the easiest way to do that, don't try anything else if you want to have this MC Cat German running. Uh, right now, this is working perfectly. You run um, app get install and you get the Python pip. You install PyBombs, and then PyBombs, it's, um, it's an installer function where you give it a recipe, which is here, these two lines. And then when you run, you just copy paste this again, run this one here. You will see then watch it compile and download a lot of stuff. It'll take some hours. And when you're done, you're ready to do the MC catching. You can run the GR GSM Lime on, and then you can start off um, Wireshark. You can just download it like this here and start it with this line down here. Or you could go on to step three where you get the, the nice package this guy made. Git clone from this address here. 
and go into the directory it creates and run the simple MC catcher. Doing that, tuning into the right frequency, you will have the same data flowing as I have here. Um, just bear in mind one thing, um, I altered the script a little. I, I added my own um, variables into it with date and time and I formatted it a bit different. Uh, you can go and do that too. Um, it's Python, so it's not hard. It, you just look for the printf. Well, that's it. Uh, and and one thing also to mention, if I didn't do it before, I can remember. I'll put everything down here, uh, everything uh, of the guide. I'll put it down below, so you don't have to uh, to look at the screen and, and type it from the screen. You can just copy paste it from the comments below. That's it. Give me a uh, a like or a dislike if you don't like it, and uh, have a good day. Bye.